So what is up with the dire wolves? Did scientists really bring an animal back from extinction? Short answer is no, not exactly. The long answer is, what does that even mean? We've all seen Jurassic Park, right? The dinosaurs were created using ancient dino DNA from mosquitoes, but the DNA was damaged, and so the damaged portions were filled in where needed with frog DNA. Well, these adorable little guys are the same idea, but kind of in reverse. Scientists used gray wolves, which are the closest relatives to dire wolves that we currently have, as the base material, and then edited parts of their DNA to match that of dire wolves. Additionally, they made some modifications to other genes in order to be sure that the puppies would be healthy. So in the most technical sense, these are actually gray wolves that have been genetically modified to have dire wolf traits. But the big question is, where is the line? How much editing does it take to stop being a gray wolf and instead be a dire wolf? Are these simply hybrids or something entirely new? There is no answer to this particular question, and so that's why you've likely heard some debate and argument on the topic so far. But because no actual dire wolf DNA was used, these three extremely good dogs aren't truly part dire wolf. But they do express traits that may very well be those of creatures that haven't walked the earth in thousands of years. So although this is certainly not resurrecting the dire wolf, no matter what the headlines say, it's still an incredibly interesting accomplishment. And it does raise very important questions about what actually constitutes a species.